One more snippet we're going to talk about before we call it a day and move on to the next topic is let's talk a little bit about the column snippet because the column snippet is a bit of an unassuming uh, tool that is actually very flexible and you can do a lot of things with. So I'm gonna come over here on my landing page and I'm gonna open up main content. I'm gonna drop a generic section snippet. And in the enter content section, I'm going to drop columns. So if we look at the preview image here, we can see a three column layout, much like you would see in a newspaper or a, or a magazine. Um, there's a little place for an image there, and it's not gonna populate all these fields, but it's sort of giving you a visual idea. Now you can use them for text that's columned, but you can also do a lot of other things with them. So I'm gonna insert this. On the column snippet, first up, we have set the numbers in the first column so that they add up to 12. You may have anywhere from one to 12 rows. So what this is referring to is the width of the columns themselves. So right now, in that first column, we have four, four, and four. So basically each of the columns has an equivalent of four in width. So there are three columns equally, equally uh, wide, like we saw in the preview image. We could change the number of columns. For example, we could add rows, insert row after, and just keep doing that. You could have literally 12 columns of one, which of course would be really narrow, but you could do it if you wanted to, or you could delete down to one row and make the one row 12 with the drop down, and you would have one page wide row. Um, this example, we're just gonna leave it as it is. This is column one. This is column two. This is column three. And just to make them a little more obvious, let's make them headings. You can uh, use your styles and your blocks here. Very, very flexible. I'll save this. And you can see I've got three columns here. This could be the header of each of the columns and then you'd have text or whatever your content is. You're not limited to text as the uh, content. You could have other elements. Now, maybe I want four columns. I would switch each of these to three. And we'll add another row. It will also be three. This is column four. So we have a lot of flexibility here. And one thing that you can do with this um, that you can't do using sidebar or something else is you could uh, use text on one column and image on another. So let's see, I'm gonna get rid of two of these rows. And maybe I wanna do that. I wanna have some text over here and I wanna have an image on the right that it might be referring to. Um, these have to add up to 12. So I could do five and seven maybe, or they could be equivalent. You can change them around however you want. So you have a bit of room to play there. In this case, I'm gonna go six and six. And in the column one, this is the history of Wu Shock image. Or demonstration. So that's our text. And I come down to the column two. And I don't need this. Just delete it out. Change it to paragraph so we don't get an accessibility error and go find our Wuxiak image. 
training images. I'm just putting text here since we're demoing. And we might need to change the size somewhat. It, if an image is bigger than a space it's going in, it'll shrink it down, but it won't make it uh, bigger. So if you know you've got the resolution, you might change the size a little bit. So now I have text on one side and the image on the other. The image is starting to get a little bit blurry. Uh, from my enlarging, but you kind of see what I mean there. You could have text here in an image there. You may be wondering, why would I do that if I have, say, a standard content page I could create, and I could have the text in the sidebar and the image over there. It doesn't quite work the way you think it does in that aspect, and I can show you why. It has to do with mobile. So when the pages are seen on a mobile device, like a phone or a or a um, iPad, type device. This layout is not kept the same way. And it's not kept the same way for all of the different types of pages, for example. You can uh, demonstrate how it looks on mobile by grabbing the uh, right side and shrinking it up like this. And you'll notice that certain elements move. So for example, right there, where that has that image on the right side, that moves in and then it tucks it underneath. Notice that the buttons changed as well. They all become larger. And that snippet spread to two, spread to four. So what it does is it will compress things down and it'll drop under things under. Now, when we're looking at a standard content page, the relationship between the main content section and the sidebar would not be such that this is gonna be followed by the image. What it would do is it would drop the sidebar underneath everything in the main content area. So if I do that here, you can see that our sidebar basically goes underneath it. So if it had to alternate, if it had to go from content here to content here to content here to content here, it's not going to do that if you use a sidebar. It's just gonna drop the sidebar under everything else. On the other hand, if you have a column like this and say each one of these was a separate column snippet as you proceeded down the page. In that case, it is going to tuck it underneath just like this. So you could have that run through an entire page. Uh, as a demonstration of this, here's my alt text page which is a, just a general guide for alt texting a variety of different kinds of images and infographics. So this top here is a, is a uh, column. This is just regular page here. This is a column. And if I go into edit mode, so you can see a bit of this here. You can see here that that's an eight and a four on the first column snippet. Then we've just got a generic section with some content. And then we've got a generic section here with a columns in it. That's a six and six. And see that's an image, a line, image, line, image, line, image. So effectively this page is built up mostly of a series of column snippets. So if I look at the live page, and let's make sure to check this page back in. And I look down here and I pull that to a mobile device's width, the images appear underneath as they should.
So column snippets are actually um, a pretty useful little thing. You can duplicate a lot of effects uh, on pages with them, and they give you some um, flexibility in terms of content look. For example, I have this one in a generic section. I can change the background on it. Maybe I want light. like so. And change the background to that lighter color. Not white, but not dark. I could change this to say yellow with arrows. And it may not look very good, but we can see what it looks like, like so. So columns are actually a very flexible tool. Um, one thing that I've done with columns fairly recently is um, I had somebody ask me, they wanted to use the content, the contact us box on their landing page, um, but they couldn't get it to behave the way they wanted it to. And to give you an example of what you would see with that, I'll pull up one here. And if I save this on the main page like this, that's what it does, is it basically takes that box and while it keeps the contact us uh, content on that left side, it spans across the entire page on a landing page. And that's probably not a look anybody really wants. So I was asked, is there a way that we could keep the contact us box looking like it should? Um, and the answer to that is, Yes, you can do that. And you can do that with a columns. So what I'm gonna do here is let's get rid of this here real quick. And I'm gonna go to my column snippet up here. I'm gonna change this. Let's say black with arrows. I'm gonna change it to black with arrows. And maybe I'll get rid of this for the moment. And we don't need that image. I'm going to add a row after, and I'm going to set them all to four. And let's drop our contact box just for the moment in the center column. There we go. like so, save it. And now we've got this little contact at the bottom, the column over here, the column over here, basically are invisible because there's no content taking the space. And the contact us box appears just as it would in a sidebar in the center. So like I was saying, uh, the column snippet is a very versatile snippet that you can do a lot of creative stuff with if you uh, spend some time and play with it.